Praise the Lord. Once again, we welcome you to our we Word Wednesday here at PCL Dome. It is our first uh, Word Wednesday in the year 2024, and we're delighted to welcome you back after the time when we had gone for our Christmas celebration and our New Year celebration. Therefore, it is still right if I start by uh, greeting you with the greetings of the season. Happy New Year. We at Dome are thanking the Lord for taking care of us over the holiday. And even when we come back, we are ready to continue serving each one of us so that we can glorify the name of the Lord. This month, we are starting a new series that will usher us into the covenant renewal on the 28th of January. And the series is on the new beginnings. Because it's a new season, it's a new year. It is not just turning of the days and the calendars. It is also a new season. Many new things are happening. And it is good that as we start, we start with that kind of hope, that kind of feeling that it is a new season. So welcome to the next four weeks when we'll be discussing our January series, New Beginnings. It is also our sub-theme for the month of January, even as we continue with our service. Let us pray that we may hear the word of the Lord. Father, we thank you this moment, even as we share your word. Use me as you will, that I may bring to your people your word as you want. For this we pray in Jesus' name. I want to read a very familiar verse that uh, it can be the beginning of our, for us this year. Uh, the book of Jeremiah chapter number 33, uh, from verses number 1 to verses number 7. I'll try to read it as fast as possible, and I'm using the New King James Version. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus is the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things, which you knowest not. For thus is the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the house of this city, concerning the house of the king of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and my fury, and for those wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I'll bring it to health and cure. I'll cure them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. And I'll cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as the first. Praise be to God. The context of the scripture we have read is the prophecy about the desolateness of Israel and Judah when they were taken into captivity. But even when God was angry with them, he was still promising them that he shall restore them. It was not a total abandonment. It was not a total destruction. But as the prophet is speaking to them, eh, they are in a very bad situation. They are in a very uh, torrid time. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do because things are not going on well. But uh, God uh, tells them in verses number three that they should call on to him because he is the one who created the world. He formed it. He established it. And his name is the Lord. And therefore, he tells them to call unto him. And he says, when you do, I will show you great and mighty things, the things that they have no idea uh, that he has promised them. And therefore, in the midst of their desolation, in the midst of their pain, God promises them that he will hear them. But it is predicated on them calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he also says that um, uh, that city, is very desolate, is very 
is destroyed. But in verse 6 he says, He promises that he shall bring it to health and to cure, and he shall re uh, 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 reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. And those that are in captivity, he says in verse 7, is that he shall bring them back to Israel, and even those that are in Judah, that are from Judah, they shall be brought back to Judah, and he shall restore them. And therefore, these are very great promises to a people who are going through a very tough time. It was a new beginning. It was a season of change. And God wanted to assure them that though they may be beaten down, though they may be going through a very difficult period, that yet there was hope. There was hope for peace. There was hope for joy. There was hope for forgiveness of sin. There was hope for things that would turn around for them. And this one brought me to a few things that I want to say this moment, even as we start this year. We are in a context like that of Jeremiah's people. Very desolate. The economy is not doing very, very well. Many things are not doing very, very well. Some families are not doing very well. And there is a tendency when things are not doing well for us to feel that we want to give up. But this moment, I want to encourage you to remind you that it shall be well. It shall be well. That the Lord who is the creator of heaven and earth has good plans for us. That this year, he will not abandon us. And I want to say three things. Number one, for the new season and for the new beginnings to make sense to us is that we must admit that no matter how low we are, we can rise. We can rise. I know that we may feel abandoned, but the Bible says in the book of Psalms that the Lord is near the brokenhearted. You may feel like you are not doing well financially. You may feel that things are not okay, but God says he hears. And therefore, it is good to believe deep within you that no matter how low it is, it is possible the Lord will lift you. But then for these people, he tells them, for me to lift you, you must call on my name. What a wonderful assurance. You know, if you have had a friend and he told you, you're going through problems, come and see me in the office, I'll sort you out. I'm sure you'd be there very early in the morning. Because you know if it was money, if it was a job you're looking for, if it was a situation that you know he can solve for you, you would not hesitate. And here God opens a door and says, this new season, the new beginnings, call unto me and I will answer. I will answer and I'll show you great and mighty things. So no matter how low you are, this new season, Call unto the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but for these people, he goes on to say that he intends to bring good things for them. In verse number six, he says he'll bring them healing and he'll be bring them joy. He says, and I will give them, I will bring them health and cure. Cure from diseases health, a good condition of living. And therefore, the second thing I want to say is that the promises of God are true. And we need to focus on them. Focus on the promises of God. This new season, don't focus on your problems. Don't focus on the shortcomings. I know it is possible to focus on the things you do not have. But the, uh, the, the scripture reminds us that the Lord will bring us healing, and he'll bring us cure. This is a season of healing. I know it is a bad situation, but I want you to know it's a beginning with a healing. It's a beginning with the knowledge that the Lord will never abandon you. You need to focus on him. You need to call upon him, and he shall be there for us. The second thing that he promises them is that he pray, gives them, he shall bring them peace and truth. 
peace and truth. This, the new beginning is a beginning with peace. So as we focus on the issues around us that take away our joy and peace, focus on God because he says he will bring you peace. Jeremiah was telling these people, yes, you are in captivity. Yes, you are in a place where you don't have the joy of freedom. But a season has started. A season is coming when there will be peace in your life. And then he says again that he shall bring us out of our captivity. There are many things that have held us down. There are many things that could hold us down. But the promise of God this moment and this season is that she shall give us freedom from all those things. I may not know what you, is holding you back, but one thing that I know is that when you call on the name of the Lord, the new beginnings will be new beginnings of freedom. It will not just be beginnings so that you can continue, uh, you know, lamenting, so that you can continue crying. It will be a new beginning when you say that surely the Lord has been with us. So this moment, as we start our year, I want you to start with this knowledge that when we call on the name of the Lord, he hears all our cries and he frees us from all our captivity. Maybe it is uh, something that has been holding you back. Maybe it is, uh, uh, you know, an addiction. Maybe it is a, a debt. Maybe it is some people who are on your case. Call on the name of the Lord. He shall solve all your challenges for you. I want to welcome you to this year here at PCA Dorme, where we shall continue focusing on many of the topics that we have by giving you this assurance that this is a new season. This is a new beginning. As I finish, I want to say this. We want to revamp the Word Wednesday. And one of the things that we want to do is to have a series that you are going to follow and have a moment when we shall discuss very deep issues, even as we go deeper and deeper into the word of God. This is a new beginning. May you walk with Christ and may you continue following us even on our social media uh, handles, on, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, and even continue uh, subscribing and forwarding to your friends so that we can share the word of God far and wide. May God be with us as we continue with our new year uh, programs and our new year work. This is PCEA Thome, always pointing you to Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. You have reminded us that, Lord, when we call unto you, you will hear us. As we start this new season, we want to walk with you. We pray that you give us the grace and the ability so that at the end of it all, at the end of the day, that we shall do all what that shall bring glory to you. Be thus in all things for this we pray in Jesus' name. God bless you.